Hey everybody, I think I'm just maybe a minute early, but I wanted to have a little bit of time to uh, get the computer set up. So that way I could see what's going on. Although I won't be able to keep up with the comments, but just in case I need to check anything out, well then it'll be up and running for me. We'll wait a few minutes. I know that everyone thought we were starting at 7 o'clock, and I do think I started just a, about a minute early or so. Um, but today uh, we're going to be doing a finish, and I've kind of named it um, Therapeutic Blending because I love it whenever I have a chance to play and I just kind of lose myself, and it's really nice to be able to not think about anything else but what is right in front of you. And uh, I know I've had a lot of students that said that painting for them was therapeutic, so, and it can be. So, but I'm gonna show you what I was playing with, and I know that y'all have already seen the photograph in the event, and this is the finish. And I know that some of y'all can watch the replay, because I know several people said that they wouldn't be home yet. So, this is what I came up with, and this is on an old oak door. This is a door that my dad made probably 30 years ago, and he would really be upset if he knew I put paint on oak, but we won't tell him. Um, but I just love it. I think it's a very pretty finish. It was very simple and easy to do and took no time at all and very little product, and I like that even better. But what I use to accomplish this, oh, and before I go any further, whenever you're doing this finish, uh, well, that's with any finish that you do, really, uh, depending on what type of wood you're working on or um, product uh, underneath, you're going to always get maybe a different look. So always keep that in mind. And sometimes I always suggest, if you're not quite sure, uh, do a sample first. You know, because on oak, it's going to look different. On laminate, it's going to look different. So just in cherry, it's going to look different. So keep that in mind. But what I did, because I wanted this old look right in here. So what I did to get that is I used uh, Miss Cillian's soy wax bar. And what I did is I just lightly put it in the areas that I wanted the top coat of paint to come off. So it worked perfectly. I was very pleased. And what I'm going to do right quick, oh, I'll show you the colors. And the colors I used was one of her new colors, Miss Lillian Snow Wax Chalk Paint in the Pineapple. It's very airy and light. I really like that. And then this one is the Pixie Bell. It's also very, and I just thought that the two colors really went well together. And then uh, the glaze, I used the Antiquing Glaze Truffle. And what I did is I found me, I wanted to try something a little different. So I got me a spray bottle, put some in it, put a little water, and that's how I created that effect. But we'll sh I'll show you that here in just a second. And so that you can kind of see how the uh, wax bar works. I've got a board here that's uh, got swamp mud on it because I was priming it for something else and I never did finish. So what I do is I'm gonna just take and I'm gonna drag that where I want that. And I'm gonna drag it kind of heavy. I'm hoping that, that it will show up. If you can see that right there, but it gives such a very authentic, distressed look, and that's what I like about it. But you just take it and you want to drag it wherever you want it to look old and distressed. So, and uh, let me turn this down just a little bit. I want to show you what we did to the top. This is the piece that I'm gonna be doing here. And the top, I wanted to leave it 
a rich look. So well, all I did was I lightly sanded with 220 and then I wiped it off with 50-50 uh, vinegar and water. And then I came in with Miss Lillian's first step. And I'll show y'all something about that here in just a second. And then once that was dry, I put her tobacco gel stain on the top, wiped it off. I'm gonna let it dry. And then what I'll do is I will come in with one of her lackluster top coats, probably about two coats. But um, I'm going to show y'all, you think after you have wiped this off with 50-50 vinegar and water and you've washed it really well, you think you have all of the dirt off. And I had a rag. Okay, as you can see, this is white. So I'm just going to take some of this first step spray on here and then I'm just going to go around and around. And in fact, I've already cleaned this once. But see what that took off? Is that not amazing? So you sometimes you think you've got it clean, but I, the first time I used it, I was totally amazed at how much it took off. So always keep that in mind because your piece really needs to be good and clean before you start your finish. And then I used Miss Lillian's, um, the round um, brush that she has. I really do like these. And you know what? I always wet it first. Not a lot. And then I will wring it out. Just like that. And I always pour my paint into a plate because I don't ever want to contaminate the containers of paint. So, <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and pull these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this up here so that y'all can see but I know how messy I get, so I'm covering my top. I don't want anything to happen to it because it's so pretty. And what I do is I couldn't get these out because they're keyholes that are put in. So uh, I'm just going to paint over them, and then I may wipe off. Um, and I also always take my edges. Um, like this right here because later I'm going to come back. I'll show y'all whenever I'm do, through doing a couple of the drawers. I painted one side in the pineapple, and then I came back with a stencil, and I just used the uh, Pixie Bell color and put a very pretty stencil on the side so I didn't want to get any extra paint over here. I just hope I don't drop this in the floor. That would not be good. So what I do is I'm not going to use a whole lot. I'm going to outline with the pineapple. And I will go ahead and do the top. And I also tape off on the insides because these around here, let me pull this out so I can show you. Because this here, I will paint this here as well. Because sometimes if you don't, and uh, you've only painted the, the uh, facing here, then if the drawer doesn't fit real well on the older pieces, and it pushes in too far, then you're going to see that wood. So I always paint really well back underneath my doors because I don't want that to, to show. And as you can see, I am not doing anything particular. I'm just putting it on because really a finish like this is about enjoying it and uh, just see what you come up with because it is amazing whenever you think, okay, we can do this and play and experiment. Because a lot of times 
you'll just never imagine the creations that you can come up with if you're really not thinking about what you're doing. I know there's been times that I've actually stood there with the brush in my hand and had to convince myself to go ahead and start. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and in this bottle I have vinegar and water. Um, probably three quarters water, I don't know, it's just what I picked up and what I had. And then I'm just going to take, and as you can see here, oh and I already had this waxed. so. I, I didn't do the other one. I already had this one, but the next one I'll wax so that y'all can see. But that's what this is. That water, it puts a resist. Okay? And that's where you get that uh, the distress look from. But you can see how it's going to run down. And you can just... I think that is so pretty. And you can stop and let it see what it's going to do. And even if it's in this position, if you decide that, okay, I like it just the way it is, you can take it out and set it up. Or you can take it and set it up in the floor and do your finish with it setting up this way. And then you're not, you know, but then, because I like the runs, that's why I wanted to do it this way. But as you can see, this over here I haven't sprayed yet. And um, what I'll do is whenever we get through, I'll take this out or either that or I'll get the camera and I'll bring it down where you can see it up close. I know y'all probably can't see it as well as I would like for you to do. But you know what? I think I'm going to quit because I like that. I like just how it is. And... I should have tested this squirter first because the other day I like never got it to start. And I'm in a different position, so it's like I'm talking, but I want y'all to be able to see the full view of what I'm doing. See, I just squirted that on, and if you can see that, then I'm just gonna let that run i tell you what I am going to do, because I want y'all to see that effect up close. And I think I can do this without dropping the phone. But I want y'all to be able to see that up close. And I'm not, I'm not going to manipulate it with anything. I'm just going to let it uh, do its own thing. But that looks almost like a crackle, even though it's not. Okay. Get y'all back up here so I don't drop the phone. And we all have a disaster. Okay. I'm not doing anything else here. And that's unusual because I love that. I think that turned out just the way I wanted it. And say... You do uh, apply it over here with a spray gun or spray bottle, and you're like, okay, that's not doing enough. Just take your water and lightly mist. Because you know what? Once this fades out, you could actually come back, apply more paint, and then you could add more glaze. Um, because it's just um, really the type of finish that you're going for that's what's important I really like that I just don't think I'm going to do anything else to that spot and this side is getting there and I like how this I'm going to wipe that back just a little and probably what I'm going to do once this is dry I'm going to come back with Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels 
and I'll probably put gold or something on those. But I really like how that has turned out, so I'm not doing anything else, and I'm going to pull it out so that it will stop running, and then I'll do another one. y'all that was my board I knocked over and before I go on any farther I will show y'all these I know y'all saw them in the post uh, make sure I have this upright uh, this is another one that I did and it was using uh, Miss Lillian's sage advice Ocean Depth. Oh, is that not a beautiful color? And the Watermark Silk. And what I did is, yes, I used the uh, wax bar, but I didn't use it as much on this piece because I wasn't really wanting that much of a distressed look. I was kind of playing with an ocean look. So, <clears throat> but the different thing that I did do Let's see. I did right here, you can see a little bit of the um, soy bar that I used here. And there was a, a little up here and a little over there. Just very little. I want it very subtle. But once I got all of this on and I had taken my spray bottle and I started at the top right here. And I wasn't real close, but I was about six inches. And that way it started running. And then whenever it got to a certain point, what I did is I stopped it and I laid it flat. And then I took her textured sponge and then you want to wet it. And then you get squeeze it really good and get all of the water out. And it's hard to see because of the color, but it literally looks like water bubbles on here. Because what I did is I put just a little bit, I set, um, I put the watermark silk in a paper plate and I just barely touched that watermark silk. And so what it did is whenever I put it, there was enough water and paint that it picked that up. And as I was moving it around like that, it left those textured bubbles all in the board. And it really gave it a very cool look. And I mean, this was very little paint. And what I did, whenever I applied it, I applied it going this way. I didn't do it this way. I put it on this way. And you really don't see a lot of the sage green, except that it lightened the ocean depths. But here you can see right there. I don't know if that color shows up as well to y'all as it does to me. And then there was a little bit of the here. You can see this all throughout, and it really gave a very cool effect. And then I'll show y'all the other one. This is just on an old pine door that I had. This one really turned out very cool. You can see how the uh, soy wax bar, it really made it look like it had been chipping away right in through here. I really thought that was very pretty, and I liked how this came out. And all I did to this was, uh, before I started this, I done just like I did on uh, this piece here. I just lightly sanded with 220. Wiped it down with 50-50, and then I used uh, Miss Lillian's first step. And then I just started, I used the wax bar. And as you can see, I did use it pretty heavy. Because I wanted to see just how much of an effect I could get. But you can see, I really put it on right there. But I love that effect. And this one, let's see, we used... Um, one of her new colors called Kiss Kiss. Isn't that pretty? Love that. Um, and then there is 
robin's egg use that and then uh, this is knight's armor I used that one and then again I put in just a little bit of the ocean depths and it just it really turned out beautiful and this one probably took all of 10 minutes to do and about five minutes to do the other one so it's a very quick finish Okay, now I better go ahead and clean this one again. I call myself cleaning, but I want to be sure. And it dries really quick. Oh, and another thing too, y'all. Um, <clears throat> Miss Lillian just came out with, I believe, 15 more scents of her fresh drawers. Oh, y'all, if you have an old piece that uh, you, you are redoing or um, something that's an heirloom piece and it has that musty smell to it, you got to get some of fresh drawers. All you do is put it on a rag and you wipe it in the drawers and it just smells heaven. And you can also use it to polish your furniture with. Um, I like using it in my closet and where my shoes are. Uh, oh, also, if any of you are interested, you need to hop over uh, to Miss Lillian's Paint University. There are um, videos on uh, the, her products, and they're all under 10 minutes. And so, great stuff. Y'all need to hop over and join. Oh, I need to do the wax bar, don't I? Almost forgot. I have done that a few times. Have y'all? No, you need to do something and then you think, uh-oh. I've literally had to go ahead and wash the paint off and start over. And say so if you want it around the edges, you can do it around the edges a little more. I better set that over here so I don't forget the next one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my uh, brush out. I hope everyone is having a good day today. It's quite hot here. But we had a really fast moving storm through here last night that left some of the most beautiful clouds I have ever seen. They were blood red. They were so pretty. Oh, I forgot to take my this door off. And y'all can see I'm not using very much paint. Oh my, this would be uh, this would be a cool finish over uh, Miss Lillian's Texture Magic. I just thought about that. Okay, that's the pineapple. Is that not a beautiful color? Isn't that pretty? And I'll show you the pineapple up close. That looks so airy and fresh. I really, I should move that because I can see I'm going to end up splattering paint on it. A friend of mine and I are really bad about that. I ended up redoing one of her tables, uh, I believe three times because I splattered paint on it three times instead of moving it. Okay, here we go for another one. And see this right here if you do that and you're not happy with it because it made a vertical line you can just come in and 
took care of that. But you can see where the wax is resisting. Okay, I think I'm liking that one as well. See, from start to finish, you could probably do this whole piece, not counting stenciling the sides, hour and a half. That's pretty quick. Oh, wow. I think I'm leaving that one, too. That didn't I'll take y'all where you can see again. I'm trying not to move it too fast because it's really hard to tell from my view. But is that not just really pretty? And I'm not saying that just because I did it. I just love it. And Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paints are so easy to work with. And um, 140 something colors to choose from. Wow. Okay, now that I've made y'all drunk. Talking about drunk, I stood up here a while ago and this wall is really a fake wall and the wind was moving it and it gives the illusion that it kind of makes you sick to your stomach. All right, y'all, that's that one. got one more and then what I'll do is I'll put them all in their place I can tell that drawer must not go there okay use the wax bar and I'll finish all the other later and then uh, post the photo of it completely finished fast that is using that wax bar I just love it okay I'm gonna wash that out again because I like starting with the pineapple I'm just washing it out a little and then I just take it and I do around and around like that and that's good enough dumped it. And whenever I'm through and I get everything picked up and put up, well, I'll come back in and say hello to everyone. And uh, I'm sure uh, Marilyn and them are in there answering y'all's questions. And we sure do appreciate y'all taking the time to, to come and watch. And I'll show y'all a finish here in just a second. As soon as I get through with this one, I'll take the camera over and let y'all see that I did the other day that is similar to this one. Just uh, so you can see a different variation of the pineapple and Miss Lillian sage green. Oh, I'm sorry, sage advice. I always do that. And there's another one. Fresh sweet cream. I always say fresh sweet corn. <laughs> but it's cream. And it's a very pretty color.
bit of yellow, the pineapple in here, just a little. So you can always come back with your other color if you're just not quite sure. Because you know what? If you don't like it, you can always start over. I've done that a few times as well. Not very many, but... See, and then I, I get busy doing this and I forget that y'all are even there and I don't mean to. It's just I get engrossed in what I'm doing. That's why it's therapeutic, you know. Enjoying it. Okay, I put a little more on that one, but that's okay. And you know, and if you wanted to, you could actually come back in with a with a uh, really soft brush and kind of mute that out if you wanted. But I love it like that. Or you could wait until it was completely dry, and then you could use one of her gel stains. You could put it on and then wipe it all off, which would give you a completely different look. Um, or you could use the antiquing glaze. On at, put it on with a chip brush and then wipe it off. So, you know, there's just a lot of different looks that you could even get with um, the first step. Okay, I think move that back. And I put tape here because I didn't want any paint up under this because I wanted it to be the natural wood. If I can get this in. Okay. Of course, it's really going to be. Oh, you know what? I almost like that, like that. That would be something different. Okay. Oh, I just hope I can do this and not mess it up. you're in here by yourself and being knowing people are watching you it's a little different okay. oh you know what I'm liking that I may end up leaving that y'all tell me what y'all think we'll do whatever y'all want That took, I'm not sure how long that took. <laughs> Let's see, it is, took about 30 minutes, y'all. So, you know, to finish the ends and the sides, you're probably looking at maybe another 20 minutes. But I would love for y'all to tell me what you think. Should we, let me take off. Should we leave it like this? Should I come back in with the gel stain on the sides and in the styles? 
I'd love to hear y'all's opinion and what y'all think. Uh, let me take you over and I will show you the other thing that I made. This is going to be a little tricky. Okay, y'all just have to excuse my mess out here in the, in the garage. But I want to get a close-up where y'all can see the difference. Like the shadows are not good over here. Um, actually, this is one of my favorite finishes. Let me back up and maybe y'all can see. But I'll post a picture of some close-ups. I just was hoping that y'all could see this um, really close up. But it's hard for me to tell holding the phone the way that I am. So we'll go back to uh, square one. And let y'all see a close-up of this. And see what y'all think. Okay. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all stopping in. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, if there's anyone out there that is thinking about being a retailer and needing a good paint line, you will not make a mistake if you call Marilyn and talk to her um, because she has a one-stop shop. She carries just about everything you can imagine. And she's always trying to create new things for us to use. So we appreciate that. And we appreciate all of y'all. So this is Renee of Two Chatty Chicks, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye, y'all.